Hey, Sergeant Nick Ryan's here with Ghost Room Tactical. And uh, in today's video, we're going to be going through uh, three of my favorite pair of pants. All right, uh, I've had a, a few of you guys email me, message me about uh, pants, and I promise you guys I'll put a video together for you with reviewing these. So, first off, let me start off by saying that I never thought the day would come that I would be looking at how much spandex is in my pants. But uh, that day has come, gentlemen, that day has come that uh, once you go spandex, you won't go back. So let's, uh, let's start off with uh, the first pair of pants I've got over here. So we're gonna go full, full tactical all the way down to civilian. Um, so these pants here, these are the first tactical defender pants. Um, these are the pants that I wear uh, when we're teaching class. These are the pants that I wear anytime I'm doing any sort of uh, firearms training. Uh, these, these are my go-to, I, I absolutely love these pants. Um, so first off, these have the, they're not called spandex, but they're called some, like, like their stretch fabric technology or something like that. Um, but the, so it does have some stretch to it, but it's also made of really, uh, thick, high quality, uh, what is it? The, the, uh, uh, Cordura, uh, fabric. So it's going to last a long time. Uh, plus you get that, that flexibility as well. So these are your, I mean, these are probably competition, or they are competition to your, your cry precision pants, uh, your UF Pro pants. Um, they're, they're very, very high quality stuff. Um, one thing I like about these, because um, I have the cry precision pants too, but I, I like the knee pads on these a lot better just because they're a hell of a lot easier uh, to just unzip the side and be able to get your knee pad right in there and then zip it right back up. All right, instead of those cry precision pants, I'm, you always have to battle those guys and getting them into place and getting the Velcro right. So I really like um, these knee pads. I really like how they how they go in. Um, only issue I think I've had them so far is wearing them all day long. Um, I don't know if I need to just pull my pants up higher or whatnot, but the, the knee pads kind of, they're rubbing uh, across the top of the knee. That's the only issue I've had with these pants so far, all right? Um, plenty of pockets. So you got pockets down at the uh, ankle area or calf area. Again, you've got these here, you've got your basic side uh, uh, cargo pockets, you've got your pockets in the front here, main pocket with uh, a little pen pocket, I don't know what the hell that's for. Um, you got your main pockets in the back, these all unzip. So, so again, when it comes to any type of tactical training or firearm stuff, I'm always rolling with these uh, uh, first tactical defender pants. All right, so next up on the line here is, uh, these are the Condor Odyssey pants. Um, again, absolutely love these pants. I've been wearing these things for years. Um, 7% spandex, gentlemen, seven, seven percent. Uh, so they're super comfortable, super comfortable. Um, I'll wear these. We wear these uh, during our tactical camps when we're doing the hand-to-hand -hand combat stuff, uh, just because they have so much flexibility to them. I mean, you can fight in these, you can work out in these, uh, you can, you know, go to crawl in these, you can... I can wear them around the house. Again, I wear these things everywhere. So these are more of a, like an in-between between your full tactical and your full civilian. Uh, these, I mean, they don't have like your standard like cargo uh, pockets that you'll see in a lot of other tactical pants that kind of give you away as being a tactical guy out in the civilian world. Uh, but they've got these nice big pockets on the side, but when you're wearing them, uh, they're pretty much flat to the body. Uh, other pockets on these, your basic, uh, back pockets uh, with Velcro. Um, so again, not not too many pockets, so it doesn't make it again too tactical. So I like these as an in between. Uh, and again, you guys, I wear these. I wear these all the time. Um, only issue I've seen with these is with the stretch fabric. You see some of the stitching um, start ripping out in, in the crotch. I've seen some of those stitching start ripping out in the pocket area, but Again, I've been wearing these for a long, long time. And even with the stitching starting to come loose, all I do is cut it off or burn it. And I, there's never been any holes, right? Never any holes. All right, so love these pants. Next up is uh, the jeans, okay? These jeans, uh, my wife found these in Kohl's. All right, these are the uh, Urban Pipeline Ultra Flex. All right, so... I, <laughs> For, for a long time, I didn't wear jeans, okay? Because I actually wore these all the time. Uh, then when my wife found these uh, at Kohl's, 
you guys, I absolutely love these these jeans. I wear them all the time now. Um, you know, I wear them for any time I'm doing uh, security work where you know we're, we're dressed down. I'm wearing these. Uh, these are, I believe they're these are one in, one or two percent spandex. Okay, so you've got you got again a good pair of durable jeans, but you've also got that that flex in them as well. So if you did need to go to work uh, when you're wearing these things, you can. All right, you can fight in these things. Uh, as you can see, the ones I'm wearing now, these are the same brand, uh, and uh, you, you mean a lot of flexibility uh, to these guys, which makes them way more comfortable than regular jeans. All right, so so those are my top three, guys. These are my top three from from full tactical to mid tactical to uh, your everyday civilian life. Um, if you've got any questions on any of these for me, uh, feel free reach out to me. Let me know.